Hey there, Patty Dominguez. Welcome to this quick Monday morning. It's not even the morning. It's a Monday motivation. Let's be honest. I'm not a morning person. Okay, so I wanted to share a concept with you that has come up uh, quite a few times here and there. And I always am prompted to create my podcasts or anything that I'm doing as a result of the interactions that I'm having, because I'm always like, okay, there's a reason, right? You start to kind of see these bits and pieces of themes that keep coming up. And uh, last week was something that was just tried and true around this thing that something keeps coming up. And I feel like I have to talk about it now, you know, and it really is this concept of how do you know when you're in a space where you keep doing the thing and it's just not working. And I'm also a coach in another group and a question had come up like this person had developed a program and uh, it was an online course and she had been trying to promote it. And unfortunately it wasn't for a lack of taking action because she was taking the action. She was doing the ad, she was tweaking her copy and doing all the things that you know, you're supposed to do to test and verify if something's going to work or if it's not. But inevitably, she's in a space where she's like, well, I don't know, do I really continue doing this? Do I cut my losses? So I wanted to share something with you that I think is really an important distinction. Um, The first thing is, I mean, aside from the typical market research that you have to do in order to validate if Uh, a concept has legs and it's really something that the market wants. Okay, so let's assume that that's the case. So it's not for a lack of knowing that the market doesn't want it. But if you're in a space where you've tried something or are thinking of creating something, make sure that it's something that you enjoy, that you like talking about. Because if you're just doing it for the money, it's going to be potentially a short-term gain, but then you're going to be like, yeah, I don't know that I love it. You know, I've done that before. I've been in situations where I was presented with a particular business idea and I jumped into it. I am thankful that I have a team to support in the execution, but then we were really struggling with the fulfillment, not because we weren't delivering, but because it felt heavy. It just felt heavy. I was not passionate about what we were doing. Uh, you know, my team wasn't necessarily either. And so we walked away from that recurring income as a result of that, because it just didn't feel aligned. So that's one example of how, when you check in and you're like, Hey, is this worth continuing to do? Another example is that if, if you're in a space where you're asking yourself, Hey, does this, is it worth continuing to move forward with this? Because I'm getting a whole lot of failure and I know the whole thing of like, keep going, keep going, keep going is, yeah, you got to be passionate about it. The second thing is maybe you're just going through a dip. And this is something that I believe not enough people talk about is really understanding what it takes because there's a whole concept where people out of the gate with a new idea or a new concept that they want to develop, they're super inspired. And you're like, oh my God, the world is my oyster. And you're really going out there and you're just jacked up sideways. It's so excited to, to do this thing. And then only to realize that you start out of the gate, maybe you do a launch, maybe you launch a product and then it's like crickets, nothing happens. And then you're like, oh, do I want to continue? Well, let me just be really honest and letting you know that most people in that dip, in that moment where they're not getting the response that they want, in that moment where they're maybe in a wall kicking moment, they decide to give up and they don't push through the dip. They don't move through the dip, recognizing that success includes that initial concept. You test it, you verify, like, oh my God, I'm so excited, so excited. You launch, you do whatever it is you do to promote the thing. You're in a dip. You tweak, you verify, you adjust, you course correct, and then you course correct enough so that you have little C's of success. Then you scale that and then you keep going until you're successful. It is, that's the trajectory. And so most people don't understand that there is a dip associated with it. And what happens is if you don't know that there is a dip, you'll give up. So know that there's a dip because just knowing that there's a dip is a competitive advantage. It's going to give you a competitive advantage to say, well, I'm going to keep on going even if I'm in a dip. I just know that I'm in a dip and I need to forge ahead and, and move forward. So that is literally my, my 
call to action is recognizing that if you're in a moment where things are low, you're not getting the response that you're looking for. Maybe you put out an offer, maybe you launched something, maybe you did a group coaching, it didn't go anywhere, or you did your one-on-one -on -one, or you did some kind of promotion. Listen, we have all been there, but not enough people are talking about the reality of what it takes and recognizing the execution goes into this U form and maybe you're just in a dip. And so when you're in that dip, are you willing to push forward and keep going? Because you know, on the other side of that, once you course correct, tweak and verify, there'll be some successes on the other side, or are you in the space in the dip where you're like, you know what, I don't really like this. So I'm gonna cash in my chips and walk away. Or just really feeling like this is really heavy to me. I'm not willing to do this anymore. It's just not very fulfilling. I'm out, right? So, you know, in, in either situation you have choice and that's the magic of having your own business where you have choice. So that is my Monday motivation. Hopefully this meets you in a space where you're beyond the dip and over on the other side. And if you need any help, um, definitely check out position. Well, yeah, you can go to positioning to profit.com and there's a whole host of goodies there that is going to help you to grow your business so that you are more prolific. And with that, let me know what you think. Go ahead and post below if you are catching this on video. And if you're on audio, reach out to me on socials on Instagram at Patty Dominguez underscore. And with that, here is to you and your message. We'll see you next time.